Hello and welcome to the Unitrends Solution Video Series. In this video, we will walk you through the Exchange Backup Setup using the Unitrends Backup Software and Recovery Series Appliance Solutions. Before we walk through this process though, let's review a couple key items. So before I walk you through the setup of protecting Exchange with Unitrends, it's important to understand when the use of agents are required. This video specifically walks you through the protection of Exchange using the Unitrends agent. However, in the scenario in which Exchange is running as a virtual machine within VMware, the Unitrends agent is not required. Within VMware, Unitrends is capable of performing the Exchange log truncation for backup as well as putting the databases into a consistent state. So if you have Exchange running inside of VMware, these steps are not required. But if Exchange is running as a physical machine, Hyper-V virtual machine, or a Zen server virtual machine, it would require the use of the Unitrends agent to again put it into a consistent state and also perform the Exchange log truncation. For specifics on VMware, please do reference the VMware backup video. And then lastly, to protect Exchange with Unitrends, it does not require a separate agent. Once you deploy the Windows agent into those machines, it provides the capability to also protect Exchange. Now this video assumes you've already deployed the agent, which will start from that process on. If you haven't already deployed the agent, please reference the initial setup video. With that said, let's go ahead and walk through this process. Okay, so you have the Unitrends backup software or recovery series of plans deployed, agents installed in the machine, and you're ready to go ahead and set up your Exchange backups. Come under the Jobs pane, under Create, and select Backup. So once the backup wizard comes up, we want to first change in the drop down here from Agent to Exchange. So once you have deployed the Unitrends agent into your Exchange servers, and come under the Backup wizard, select Exchange as the backup type, it'll now list all Exchange servers we've detected. So in our environment, we have the single Exchange server, as we drill into it, we can now see our Exchange database. Now, if you had multiple databases, you would, of course, see all those listed here for selection. Now, also, if you're running Exchange clusters or DAGs, database availability groups, what you'd want to do is install the Unitrends agent into all nodes in the cluster or DAG. And then as a best practice, when you come into the backup wizard, you would go to the passive node which is housing all the passive databases, and then select those for backup. You would not want to select the active node, which is housing the active copies, to alleviate any performance hit to your Exchange environment. So once you identify the Exchange databases you want to protect, you also have the option in the bottom right, as you're seeing, to auto-include new databases. So if your Exchange environment is very dynamic, and you add new databases often, with this checked, it will automatically pick those up. Your last and final step is to, one, pick your backup mode. So which mode should you choose is really dependent upon your needs and requirements. Just remember that with Exchange, log truncation only occurs with fulls and incremental backups. For differentials, log truncation does not occur for Exchange. So just keep that in mind as you set your backup mode. Then once you identify the backup mode to use, you'll then specify what days in the week the full should run start time, and then what days the incremental or differential should run, and start time. Once you've identified those settings, finally all you have to do is hit save, and you now have Exchange set to be protected with the Unitrends backup software or the recovery series appliance. And that concludes this video on how to backup Exchange using the Unitrends backup software and the recovery series appliance solution. I do encourage you to check out the remainder of the video series for more helpful information, but thank you for taking the time to learn more about Unitrends.